Glitter ball. Check. Suit jacket. Check. It must be time for the Pitch the Future award ceremony. From over 100 teams around the world, only 13 of them made it through to the grand final where they pitched their game-changing ideas to our esteemed panel of judges. The pitches have been completed, the scary stuff is over, now it's down to the nail-biting time of announcing the winners of each category. But before we announce them, joining me on this is the man, is the myth, is the, can I say it? Yep. The legend that is Shell Eco Marathons, Norman Koch. Hello, Norman. Yeah, thank you, Colin. Really, your introductions are too much. But before we kick off, I just want to thank all of the students that entered submissions. You've made Pitch the Future very special indeed. With everything else going on, it's been a challenging year. Plus, we've gone virtual for the very first time. The way the team's approach to challenges has been truly astounding, and we were all very, very impressed. Let's get into our first award. This is for the Decarbonizing Road Freight Challenge with Shell Lubricants. The shortlisted teams in the category were DTU Super Mileage from India, Galway Energy Efficient Car from Ireland, and Eco Octano UFPR Electrico from Brazil. So let's see a brief recap. This part of the idea created by us is basically divided in three simple steps. First is capturing, second is regeneration, and third is utilization. Thank you very much. Uh, great presentation. A lot of ideas. We added aerodynamic wheel covers to both all the wheels, and we added vortex generators to the rear of the trailer to control the weight. Great pitch. I love your proposal and the way you have uh, looked at it from an end-to-end -end perspective. The AI uses the cleanest and cheapest transportation method available. Lots of different solutions there for decarbonisation. Great stuff and some exceptional thinking. Fingers crossed to all of you. Now to our judge. Please welcome Mansi Tripathi, Vice President of Commercial Lubricants at Shell, to give the award. Hi Colin. On behalf of the panel of judges, I'm very excited to be presenting the award today. And I must say that the entries were very impressive, both from the point of thinking, as well as the energy which they brought in uh, to the spectrum. So to announce uh, today's winner for the decarbonizing road freight transport challenge from Shell Lubricants, the winner is DTU Super Mileage yeah. from India. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable, great work from everyone and very well-deserved winners. Fantastic, well done. So many solutions put forward and I am particularly interested in how the CO2 capture could be made a reality. Thanks again to all the teams. I hope to see some of these in action one day. Our second award for the Tracking and Reducing CO2 Emissions from Vehicles Challenge with Microsoft. The teams who were shortlisted were Alamat UP from the Philippines, Alec Ted from Turkey, and EcoCar from University Alberta, Canada. So let's see how they did. Helpful tips, how to reduce fuel consumption and CO2 emissions. Help me, help me understand how you're thinking about, uh, about the mapping component in particular. The main map that we will be using is Azure Maps, which is part of Microsoft's cloud service. The main purpose of the Echelon concept is decreasing total amount of carbon dioxide emission. Great idea, looking up at a flock of birds and thinking, wait a minute, why don't we all drive like that? Much like popular navigation apps, the user will enter their destination before their trip and eCoach will choose the most efficient route. Well, it was a better, a better pitch than a, on a similar type of technology than I saw from a professional company in Europe recently. Fingers crossed for all the students. Now please welcome Alex Robar, Energy Industry Strategy Leader from Microsoft, to announce the winning team. Hello, Colin. First off, I'd, I'd really like to thank Shell for giving us and Microsoft the opportunity to participate in such a, a phenomenal program. This is by nature a very global problem it was really exciting, all the innovative ideas that people brought to the table, many of which I think will ultimately be adopted in the future. So thank you to everyone for allowing us to participate. And we were excited at Microsoft that we had so many people who chose to submit and present for us. Uh, so thank you. 
With that, let's get to the exciting part. And the winner of the Tracking and Reducing CO2 Emissions Challenge with Microsoft is the Alamat Up Team from the Philippines. Unbelievable, great work from everybody and very well-deserved winners. Congratulations also from me. Smart technology is just so important in our daily lives and has such a potential for the future. It would be fantastic to see these ideas come to fruition. Time for the third challenge, decarbonizing the home with Shell Energy. The teams who were shortlisted are Team H2 Polito from Italy, Team Kaizen from India and Brazil's E4 UFSC. Let's see a brief recap. To embrace the idea of green homes, AC unit is retrofitted with a special carbon filter and carbon dioxide is extracted. Well done, great, great presentation, a really diverse range of solutions. The systems will deliver better performances and greater savings in a huge variety of way. What can I say? I would have loved to listen for you even longer. Our idea consists of a website that helps the user to make smart and conscious decisions about the house they are going to build. It's very focused and single-minded, very refreshing and inspiring in equal measure. Love those and some great presentations too. Fingers crossed for all of you. Now let's welcome Colin Crook, CEO of Shell Energy Retail, to announce the winning team. Hey Colin, how's it going? Good to see you again. What a fabulous Pitch the Future, all the entries, uh, the creativity, the new technologies, how to get people thinking about what they can do to help uh, in, in the energy transition. So really well done to all the teams, your passion, your dedication, creativity, and delivery really shone through. And now, the winner of Decarbonizing the Home with Shell Energy is E4 UFSC from Brazil. Congratulations team, Parabéns Brasileiros. Unbelievable, great work from everybody. Very well deserved winners. I like the way all the teams looked at this in different ways. And in terms of the winning idea, starting from the building and redefining how our construction industry works could be a major opportunity. Last but not least, it's the fourth and final award for Electric Vehicle and Battery Charging with Shell Recharge. The teams who were shortlisted are ETA from India, Ecogenium from Germany, Ecocar Unicum from Brazil, and CCE Collective from the US. Let's see another brief recap. Information will further help user to reduce his or her range anxiety. How do you manage the randomness of the journey? There is always a randomness element, like in racing, by the way. Our idea in one sentence is optimized for a lifetime, not just for a journey. There is a lot of deep understanding of human insights, and I think they've, they've nailed that point very well. Our solution is an app that creates personalized routes, selecting charging points, and estimating the environmental impact of the trip. The different dimensions to deliver the most sustainable uh, trip, I think that was, uh, that was really well done. This system can calculate and bring up an efficient route that takes into account factors such as temperature and population of a city. It was just really simple, and I think that's always behind a really great idea. Blimey, some real food for thought. Glad I'm not picking the winner. Good luck to you all. But now let's welcome Jörg Vinker, Vice President of Global Retail Marketing at Shell, to announce the winner. Hi, Colin. Thank you very much. What was really impressive uh, was to see the creativity, uh, to see the innovation coming through, um, all the digital models, algorithms used, and really impressive uh, uh, presentations as well. The winner in the category electric vehicle and long distance travel with Shell Recharge is Ecocar Unicap from Brazil. So that was really great to see and, uh, and a well-deserved uh, winner. Um, congratulations to the team in Brazil. Excellent, well done. Again, as with some of the other challenges, smart technology is such an incredible tool that we can now use to drive forward real change.
And that's the four challenges done, and what a competition. But before we get into the next set of prizes, I'd like to introduce a special guest, Shell's global head of brand, Dean Aragon. Hey Colin, yeah, I mean, a lot of the entries were mind blowing. Uh, I'm really, really, really proud of these young teams. Ingenious thinking, right? The innovations, the progressive thinking, how they think of the entire ecosystem, but also the creativity with which they presented their entries, their presentations. Each of the teams really understood the humanity of the people, the people that a lot of these technologies, a lot of these innovations are supposed to serve. So full marks on that one as well. Oh yeah, totally, couldn't agree more. The future is definitely in capable hands. Coming up now, we've got the Digital Literacy Award with Adobe. Over to Mark Andrews, Strategic Development Manager at Adobe Education with our three winners. We want to thank all of the teams for entering this challenge. At Adobe, digital literacy is the power to use digital tools to solve problems, to create innovative projects and enhance communications. It's my pleasure to announce the winners of the Digital Literacy Awards with Adobe. In third place, we have Garuda Uni Eco from Indonesia. The Garuda's team's use of Illustrator to visualize system flows, XD to develop an app prototype, culminating with some impressive video production that utilized Premiere and After Effects to construct an engaging and polished pitch, which was super impressive. In second place, Galway Energy Efficient Car from Ireland, using Adobe XD to design and prototype their app, and then using Premiere to craft an evocative and powerful video presentation that used both stock and self-shot footage. And this was coupled with a strong narrative and structure to communicate the problem and showcase their solution. And in first place, DJS Miles from India. The DJS submission thoughtfully used motion graphics and avatar narration combined with well-crafted scripts that communicated the challenge and solution in a clear way. We were universally impressed by all of the submissions. Each submission brought something different and highly original. Unbelievable, great work from everybody and very well-deserved winners. Dean, back to you for some final thoughts. Can't wait for next year, I expect. You know, Colin, I believe that this is what we need to keep on doing now. I think Pitch the Future is now gonna be a very important, if not a pillar, of the entire Shell Eco Marathon ecosystem. That maybe we can also ask the students, what would they love to crack in terms of solving today's energy problems or today's energy opportunities? I look forward to the 2021 edition of the Shell Eco Marathon Pitch the future. Watch this space. Ah, but we're not done yet. Nope, there is time for one more award. The Colin Furs Choice Award. <laughs> now then, I was looking for an idea which was completely unexpected. Some real out of the box thinking. And the winning team which I've chosen is, drum roll, Alekted from Turkey. <laughs> And what they had done, I thought was amazing. They'd looked up at the sky, saw how birds fly in a V-shaped formation, and they do this for like, you know, efficiency. The first bird takes all the like, kind of the aero impact and then the ones behind it have a little bit of an easier job. And they kind of thought, we should do that when we're driving our cars. We should have the most aerodynamic car at the front and then it tails off in you know different range right up to a big boxy thing at the back. To apply what you're seeing in the sky and put that down into traffic, that's really good thinking that is. So that is why you get the Colin Furs Choice Award. But you don't just get it with me saying it. Oh no, I've made you a special trophy. Check that out, look. That is gonna be coming in the post all the way to you. Thank you very much. And now back to Norman. Thanks, Colin, and well done to Alec Ted from Turkey. Before we close, there were a couple of teams that we wanted to give a special commendation to. Firstly, Galway Energy Efficient Car from Ireland. They were the regional winners of the Road Freight Challenge and received second place in the Adobe Digital Literacy Award and managed to submit their ideas to all Pitch the Future challenges. The team did a phenomenal job across all these categories they entered and the scores were extremely tight. So well done to the team, a lot of hard work there and some amazing results for you. Secondly, I wanted to call out a few teams new to Shell Eco Marathon that got through to the global finals and gave us some incredible presentations. Ecogenium from Germany, Alectet from Turkey and CCE Collective from the US. 
This is the first time all three have participated in Shelly Film Marathon. Oh, what a year to start, guys. Well done, teams. The judges also wanted to give a special recognition to Team Ecogenium for such a creative and engaging presentation right through the competition. Fantastic job, team. But as you all know, this isn't the end. We still have a range of virtual activities over the next six months. We will see which team becomes the new Virtual League Global Champion and hopefully we'll also see many of you back on the track in the summer of next year. It fills me with great pride that we have been able to continue learning together and even holding competitions during these challenging times. I would like to take the opportunity to thank all the teams for their ongoing passion and dedication to the program. Let me wish everyone a happy new year and I'm looking forward to seeing you all very soon. So there we go, over eight weeks of competition, 13 amazing pitches, well done to all the winners. And of course, if you want to watch any of the pitches, just head to makethefuture.shell forward slash pitch. And that was Pitch the Future.